Hello, and welcome to this session on SAP Signavio Process Transformation Tools. My name is Pekka Korsov. I come from Futitsu, and we are a global partner of SAP Signavio. In this session, we are going to take a look at the SAP Signavio Process Manager and how it can be used for process simulation. Now I have a procure to pay process modeled with Signavio Process Manager and I can, can uh, do some simulation based on this available here. And in order to uh, do simulation on, on the process automation aspect, I have created some steps that are meant for automatic processing have an automatic purchase requisition creation, automatic purchase order creation, and then I also have an automatic invoice matching here. And for each of these automated process steps, I have a decision gateway that uh, either we will be able to do some automatic steps or, or then not, and then it goes to the manual process. So let's see how the simulation works in this to pay process model. So um, I can have different scenarios defined here. And uh, I have a manual scenario. I have some scenarios with uh, certain type of automation or certain amount of automation. And then I can also have scenario where all possible steps have been automated. But let's start with the manual scenario, I will do the simulation on this one. And uh, now we can see that there's 100 cases that come in during the time frame for the simulation. Practically all of them are created to a purchase requisition and also the purchase requisition has been approved. Purchase order is creating for 97 of the, of the cases. But then when we get to the process step of sending the purchase order to the supplier, we can see that there is some sort of a backlog here. So clearly the purchaser who is responsible for the process steps in this lane doesn't have enough time or resources to do all of the steps in time. So there is actually 76 instances waiting here to be sent to the supplier and only 20 purchase orders have been sent. And if we go further, we can see that yes, we have received the goods for the 20 purchase orders. We even have received the invoice for almost all of them. But then since the approval of the supplier invoice is a manual task here, and it's again a responsibility for the purchaser, we can see that the, here we have another bottleneck, other pile of, of instances waiting. And in the end, we don't actually get any, any invoices processed uh, to the payment. So, so nothing, none of the 100 cases go through the whole process, this scenario, which is totally manual. And now if I go into uh, automated scenario and uh, simulate this one, so now, of course, there are some parameters behind this automation. So depending on the amount of purchases or the time needed for each of these steps, the results will vary. But in this case, and with the automation, it has been now defined so that all uh, purchase orders will be automatically created and the purchase requisition has been, has been approved. So there is no manually created purchase orders. Everything goes through the automatic purchase order creation, which means that the purchaser's workload is reduced. And that has the impact that the purchase orders now will be practically all sent to the suppliers. And we get the goods from almost all. We get the invoices for 95 out of the 100 original cases and 40 invoices go through the automatic invoice matching. Now it has been defined that half of the invoices can be automatically matched and uh, another half goes to, to uh, manual matching. And here we have another small bottleneck, small pile uh, grow 
going here, but uh, we actually get 80, 80 cases processed till the end and, and uh, the supplier gets the payment. So with this simple automation, we were able to improve the process throughput quite uh, substantially. And this is quite easy to, to make this type of scenarios with the Sim process manager tool from Signavio. And of course, you can fiddle around with these um, parameters down here for the different scenarios. So you can define costs, you can have durations, you can have the frequency and automation uh, probabilities or pro proportions. And of course, the number of resources for each scenario, and then therefore you get the different results for the simulation of the different scenarios. That was all for today. If you have any questions related to SAP Signavio, feel free to contact me. Thank you for your time and have a nice rest of the day.